Back in 2018, we published a video called Fight for Freedom, articulating the vision behind building Aragon. As idealistic as the film was, from that moment in which we released Aragon until today, thousands of individuals from all over the world have used Aragon to take back their sovereignty and organize around all sorts of goals and ideas without anyone's permission. Last year, we went on a trip around the world to meet and work with the people behind some of these organizations, and we discovered firsthand some incredible things that today are powered by Aragon. Um, actually, the like one hive org that we're using for the Dandelion project is like one of the first Aragon main network. We kind of operate sort of like a virtual hacker house. The first Aragon DAO that we're launching is going to be used to uh, govern over uh, the land the smart contract. And what Streaks is, is it's an internal DAO. Um, and the way you get to be a part of the Streaks DAO is you have a 30 day long streak where you use the Coinbase app. The Man in Cancer is, is a DAO running an Aragon OS. We're giving the opportunity to any person, entity, organization, or even DAO to manage uh, their wealth or the wealth of others in a safe and um, kind of like constrained environment. Well, what if we, you know, introduced a token into the subreddit uh, based on um, people's karma. That's when the development for Downuts kicked off. Uh, we're building a protocol that incentivizes people to run full nodes in order to decentralize infrastructure provisioning uh, for blockchain applications. So DAOs are amazing tools. No one can really stop it. It's not a government, not a company, not an institution. I think a DAO should really be a part of most uh, or a lot of app applications and, and would then would allow the users to have a real stake and a real um, voice. There is an idealism behind it, but there's also a effective gains if the use case is the right one. If you need a decentralized organization for your community, but also you want your community to like have a bank account or um, have accountants in the traditional world, you can still perfectly do that. For the first time, we have trusted machines or trusted smart contracts. When I started building Streaks, uh, I basically just started Googling. I was like, I want to create a decentralized organization. How do I do that? I think uh, Aragon was one of the first things that came up. And within like 30 minutes, I had created a new organization with governance, with the ability to hold money, uh, and I put it on mainnet. And like that experience for me of going from an idea to having an organization with a treasury, with voting, with the ability to actually operate on mainnet uh, in 30 minutes was this feeling for me where I was like, wow. The most magical mo moment to us was the first time that we actually used the agent to, um, to kind of like update the protocol parameters. Like it literally felt magic. The way that it's architected, fairly intuitive. The idea of modules that can be combined in different ways is really useful because when you think about governance or communities, none of them are going to look exactly the same. I don't know. I think that it was around 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 that I. I thought that, okay, this is almost ready now. We were like, this is it. And ever since that event, we've known for sure that we were gonna use Aragon one way or, or another. By using Aragon, we will allow our stakeholders and actors and participants of the Pocket Network to actually have the organization however they see fit. I mean, the Aragon core opens up a wide, you know, be, having that other fi final arbiter um, opens up, you know, a lot of, um, of the doors. Um, and if we've created tools to help encode intent like the Aragon Court, then I think we can potentially have a situation where uh, somebody can create a, a DAO, spawn a DAO as Satoshi Nakamoto, put an amazing idea out there, maybe contribute to it anonymously, maybe some other people come in. Um, and But really the idea just takes on a life of its own. Um, and I think that would be really, really cool to see. It will lead to increased economic freedom. It will lead to uh, happier people. It will lead to uh, longer lives. Like basically all of the things that are influenced by money and how all of us show up in the world. And so I'm just fired, fired up that like, it feels like we're there. It feels like now is the time.